In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to choose colors for your Divi website. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to choose colors for your Divi website. Now, color is very, very important because this can make or break your design. So I'm gonna show you the right way to choose colors and also how to apply your colors on to the Divi theme. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy it using my affiliate link below. And once you've bought it, just send me an email or you can go to funnels to income.com. On the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. Just attach your receipt or uh, send me your receipt number. And once I verify it, I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to choose colors for your Divi website. All right, so there are so many tools out there that you can use to choose colors or to help you come up with color combinations. And this is also sometimes known as color harmonies. Now, these are colors that work well together and it's very, very important that you get it right. Otherwise, you're going to be having colors that clash with each other and this is the first sign of an unprofessional looking website. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over here to this website. It's called coolers.co. Uh, with a double O, by the way. Now, this website is the easiest to use. I've done, you know, quite a lot of uh, research online just to try and find out the easiest tool to use to help me generate my colors. So this one here seems to be really, really good. And I also like the fact that you can have a uh, random generator. But of course, the ideal way is to find uh, the colors based on your project. So for example, if you're designing a website for, a, let's say, a, a children's nursery, of course, you want to use primary colors. You can't use like really dark colors and so on. So it needs to be per project basis. But let me just show you the idea of choosing these colors. So over here, there's a few ways you can do this. You can start the generator or you can explore trending palettes. So here is where you can see like the palettes that are really trending. And these are the colors right here. You can also see this with the amount of times these were saved. But we are going to generate our palette using the generator. So I'm just gonna click here on start generator. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to just pretty much use the space bar to cycle through the different color combinations. And as you can see here, as I'm cycling through this, you can just come across something that really catches your eye. So this right here is just a random one. So if you want to say, for example, choose a specific color harmony, you can come over here to these three little dots here, click on generate method. And as you can see here, we're on auto. So it's gonna just pretty much give you different types of color combinations here. But let's say you wanna choose complementary colors. You can go over here and then you can start using your space bar to choose your complementary colors. And let's say you wanna change this and use, let's say a different method. Uh, you can go to split complementary. This is, uh, to be honest, my favorite one. So in most cases I use uh, split uh, complementary. <laughs> okay, so you can just use this uh, to cycle through the colors. But here's the thing. When you're choosing colors for your website, you can't just use the colors as they're coming here. In fact, let me choose an example which has colors that are very close together. So as you can see here, all these colors are bright. Ideally, you wanna have a mix between a really dark color for your text and a really light color for your background. But of course, if it's a different type of website where you have a dark background, you wanna have light text. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult to have contrast between the elements on your website. So what I usually do is, in this case, I can choose a color here that I can use as a really dark one. So I'll go over here to the shades and then I can just really bump this up. So this now is going to work as my main color for my fonts or even like the, the footer area of my website. And then over here, let's say I need a color that's gonna work as my color for the fonts. Uh, I can then come over here to shades and really go with a light version, okay? So you can see now these two have great contrast, but at the same time, we also have all these other colors that also work well together. So what I may also do as well is to come over here and maybe bring this down a little bit, uh, maybe just a little bit more. 
just so that I have, you know, a few colors that I can work with throughout my whole website. So once you've chosen your colors this way, and let's say you're a freelance designer and you want to show your clients the colors that you've chosen, what you can do is you can come over here to export. And this is where you can export this as a PDF. You can export it as URL, SVG, or even code. So if you export it as code, this is really cool because you can just go into this document and copy the hexadecimal values and add them onto the website. Now, here's the thing. There's a quick way to add all these colors to your Divi website, and that is to come over here and go to Divi theme options. Now, this technique I'm going to show you is very, very important because once you add your colors once, that's it. You don't have to keep adding them over and over again as you're designing your website. So what you want to do is make sure you're on the general tab over here. Uh, you go back to your color palette and choose your colors one by one and add them onto the color palette. So you can choose here, copy hex, come over here, go into the first color and replace the default palette that comes with Divi. All right, so that's my first color. Move on to the next one. You can just copy the hexadecimal value, come over here and paste the value in here. And then you just keep going until you have all your colors. So let's go ahead and copy this as well. And this is my third color. I'm gonna paste it in here. Oops. Now make sure you hit copy and paste, by the way. Uh, right, so this is my third color over here. So paste that. And then I'm just gonna add one more color. And then we're gonna go to our website and then I'm gonna show you how these colors would work well together. Okay, so I'm gonna add this one here. Great, so now I've added my colors here. I'm gonna click on save changes. But of course, in your case, you wanna go ahead and add the remaining colors. All right, so with that all set now, let's head over to a page on our website or even maybe create a new page. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page and I'm gonna show you how the design would look like. So let's call this colors. Use Divi Builder. So for this, I'm just gonna build this from scratch. I'm not gonna use a pre-made layout because that's gonna just take us a bit of time to create it. So I'm gonna click here on build from scratch and I'm just gonna add a few elements here. So the first element I'm gonna add is going to be, let's say a blurb because this really looks nice as you're designing it. All right, so now that I have my blurb, let me show you what happens now when I go in and start taking a look at my colors. So I can come over here to, to background and look at that. I can just add my color just like that to the background. Or if I want, I can go with a darker version. And then uh, let's add an icon. So if I come over here to use icon, uh, let's choose any icon here. So I'll just go with the speaker one, okay? And then let's stylize the icon and the text as well. So I'm gonna come over here to design image and icon. So there's several ways I can uh, design this. So the first way is to either add a circle. And what I'm gonna do with the circle is I'm gonna use the colors that I already have on my color palette. And you can see here uh, that this works okay. And I can also use a circle border if I need to. But of course here, I'm not gonna do that. And my icon color, I can choose my icon by just doing that. So as you can see, it's very easy now to start using my colors here. It's just a matter of deciding which color you're gonna go with uh, as you're designing this. You can reverse this as well and just do that. And as you can see, this still works great. Or you can even just get rid of the circle altogether and just have this color right here. And now let's go in and reduce the size a little bit like that. Now it's time to work on the fonts themselves. So I'm gonna come over here. And again, you can choose the colors that you wanna go with. So I can even go with this color and look at that, it's beautiful. It's really working well with the colors that I have here. So I can also go with a, um, a lighter version there. All right, so there's also one more thing here. Divi is also able to generate some colors for you using an algorithm. And this is also a really cool uh, way of expanding your color palette. So if I click here, I can see all these colors here. Now these colors also work well in our design. So let's say I wanna go with, say this color right here. I can just choose that like that. Or if I need to go with uh, maybe that, that also works too because this is from our color palette. So as you can see, you can choose 
uh, different colors here to go with your design. So I'm going to go with this because I want something very subtle. And then over here, I'm just going to go and use a darker color like that, which pretty much matches my icon. But if you want to use uh, something slightly different, you can come over here and maybe perhaps go with... No, that's not too good. Let's see. Oops. So, but as you can see, this is a trial and error. You want to go in and uh, try different colors and see uh, which colors work. So I think this one here works fine. Now it's time to go in and really customize my text. So ideally for this to stand out, you want to make it bold like that. And uh, let's go into the text as well over here. Increase the size a little bit. Uh, give this some line height. And we may want to go in and increase the size a little bit here, or maybe even make it all caps. And let's make it about 20. Right, so we're going to center everything. Center the text as well. And now I'm just going to give this some breathing space. I'm going to come over here, go to spacing, and I'm going to add some padding around it. Now, I know this may seem like I'm taking too long to, uh, to put this all together. The idea here is just to show you that... Um, if we play around with our colors, we can come up with a really good design. Okay, so now that I have this all set, I'm going to save this. And then I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. I'm going to come over here. So let's go with um, that. So let's say you want to differentiate uh, these uh, blurbs. So now that we have these three, what we can do now is we can go to each and every one of these and start customizing it based on our color palette. So let's say this one here, we're going to have uh, this color right here. We can then now go in and reverse the color. So now we want something a bit dark. So we can go with that and uh, we can go with that as well. But again, as I'm looking at this, this is way too dark. So now I'm just going to go with a few shades or even... Uh, darker versions of these colors. So as I mentioned before, you want to go in and experiment with these colors and see what works. So let's go with that. And then for the title here, we're going to go with that as well. Now let's go into the icon. And for the icon, we are going to go with, let's have a look. I think we need a lighter version of that color. There we go. So I think that will work fine. Let's save that. Now over here, let's choose another color for our background. And this time, we're just going to go with something like that. And as you can see, this is beginning to take shape. And all these colors here are easy on the eye and uh, very easy to, uh, to work with. Now over here, I'm going to go and choose a slightly darker color. Let's have a look here and see what works. There we go. I think that looks better now. And then over here on the title as well. And I think that title looks great as well. And then finally, let's choose the color that works. Okay. So I think I'm happy with that. I can go ahead now and save. Now, if you want to further customize this by giving this some rounded corners and so on, you can go ahead and do that. But as you can see here, just from uh, choosing a color palette, I was able to go in and uh, work with colors that makes it easy on the eye. And as you can see, this is a really professional layout. And as you add more colors to your sections, to your titles and so on, you can just make the choices between the colors on your color palette. This is a timely process. I'm just trying to do this really fast, but as you can see, you can get great results. And this is what makes your website separate from the amateurish looking type of websites because you do need to pay attention to the detail and also make sure that uh, you have great contrast in your colors and also choose your colors the right way. But this is the basic way of looking for your colors that work well on your Divi website. All right, guys, let me know how you choose your colors and add your comments in the video comments below. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.